matchup. Joining Jake and myself is one Mr. Daniel Tiberius Hatton. for allowing me to rejoin you here at the commentary brief this month. I know that last month I was a little out of sorts. I was quite frustrated and upset. Masada turned, turned traitor on us, and I was taken aback by that. I didn't know how to react. And I also got punched in the jaw, but I assure you I've taken some time to calm down and collect myself. And I assure you that I will call this match as unbiasedly and professionally as possible, even if Masada is a mincy little ladyboy fairy. Perhaps not unbiasedly, but definitely with the level of professionalism you would come to expect from one day. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. Well, thank you very much. We'll see. Look <laughs> at the power of Masada. I mean, he might be whatever you want to fairy, but he's very powerful and he's obviously damn tough because you wanted him on your side at one point. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. All jokes aside, Masada is an extremely tough and formidable opponent. And, uh... The one time I had the displeasure of being in the ring with him, I just barely escaped with my life. Oh, look at this! Somehow, look at this! Oh, somehow, miraculously, the victory, and that was why I thought he would be a good addition to our team, which has since become the Suicide Kings. Uh, unfortunately, he decided it turned out to be something of a something of a traitor, but I, I feel very confident. Scotty Vortex, he's certainly, uh, he's no one to be trifled with. He is from the streets, bitch. You probably heard this around the locker room. It's a very, uh, it's a very popular thing to say. Scotty Vortex, I've, I've had my issues with him in the past, but uh, since he's, uh, since he's rejoined Drake Younger, they buried the hatchet. I've smoothed things over with him, and I'm very glad to call him a friend. And I have a great deal of confidence in his abilities. Well, I, I'm kind of surprised. I figured it wouldn't take long for them to go to the outside. I kind of expected him to go at it right out there. The hatred these men had for each other, you're going to expect an ultraviolet contest here tonight, and I guarantee you we're going to get it. These people are going to get what they paid for, and one of these men is going to get revenge on the other here tonight in an ultraviolet fashion. Scotty Vortex. Oh, and there he goes. Very hot temper. And uh, last month's betrayal, the, uh, the ball. Oh seconds into the match. He's not going to sit well with him, I assure you. You'll see some stiff kicks. Probably very unsafe to the face of this Masada. And while we said he's a very tough individual, I assure you Scotty Vortex is not someone you want to make angry. There's not going to be anything safe about this match. It's like Catholic sex. One of these men is going to get busted open, I guarantee. And Billy Graham on the outside is such an x factor out there. You would think maybe one of Scotty Vortex suicide team friends will be out there. Excuse, excuse me a second. You get busted open during casual sex? I may. I see cat. But anyway. Wow. I've never had Catholic sex, but I'm suddenly very intrigued. They don't believe in protection. Oh! Masada, double chop. No protection there. No protection against Masada. He is a beast. And to address your statement about Billy Graham, this face-painted Jim Jones wannabe standing on the outside. Oh. I, I feel that everyone on the Masada side of the Suicide Kings, while they are deeply annoyed and irritated by the existence of Billy Graham, feels that he is in no way a threat. And if he were, there would be someone out here to counteract his influence. But mostly, he is, he is a pain in the ass that stands around ringside and irritates everyone from the fans, the wrestlers, everyone who's ever met him. Yeah, but look at it right there. He just helped Masada grab a chair. Oh! You know, if Masada had 
go to the outside back. I'm going to give it Vortex time to recover. Billy Graham is an evil genius. He gives these men new life. He oh is there to live God. Well. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, uh, I, I can't argue that. You have, you have a great deal of uh, logic in what you've said. Billy Graham. Dude, God, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked that Vortex is even getting through his feet. Oh! Masada is not a small man by any means either. The man goes about 225, about 6'2 or so. He got about a 50 or 60 pound weight advantage on Scotty Vortex, and he is just absolutely hammering him with these chops right now. He's a good girl. Like I said, Scotty Vortex is so tough. You've seen it before. Every time he steps in the ring, he takes such a beating and keeps coming back. It's what he built his name on, it's what his reputation formed with. But Scotty Vortex right now has to deal with Masada. Scotty Vortex, absolutely a deceptively tough individual. I realize that the size is not on his side of this. I realize that perhaps he looks like, you know, oh, take it to him, Scotty. Well, size is not everything when you step on the ring. Oh, there we go. The forearms to the face, the stiff kicks to the chest. Scotty Vortex is not a man that's going to make angry. When Vortex goes to work with those kicks, I'm, I, I tell you, he absolutely lights an opponent up. He lights an opponent up and maybe he's firing on Masada. They had a thick one, they didn't put Masada down. Oh! Just an ass raped his face right there. Are we allowed to say that? He's allowed to, apparently we're not allowed to curse. Well, oh! Vortex charging with a head of steam drives Masada back in the corner. Oh! Safely onto weirdly angled chairs. This is something that certainly has hope does not happen. Like, oh yes. Is there a safe way to throw? Is there a safe way to throw someone onto a chair? Well, perhaps oh. not. But there are certainly. Uh, oh, step up into glory. Yeah, safely on a chair is my oxymoron. Yeah. Well, last month's upside down chair certainly made me cringe more than pretty much anything I've seen in wrestling. And that covers a lot in your case. You're the man who headlined Cage of Death 11. Very afraid for my friend and uh, the future of his lungs and rib cage after that debacle. Now, if you were Scotty, would you try to get that chair out of the ring and go after Masada, or would you keep it there and hope it works oh, out? Oh, oh! Masada just threw them head first into the chair. Uh, generally speaking, if I can get. See, this is what I was afraid of. This is something that Masada has made a regular part of his arsenal. We saw it last month. I'm praying. To the God that I do not believe in. That's no. Oh! Good God! It's not good for anyone's business. The invisible man in the sky couldn't protect Vortex there. Vortex kicking him. Hey, how about we don't, uh, you know? I'm sorry. We won't go there. We're we'll just saying. In the ring. We are worldwide. Let you out of this. <laughs> Where we were to go is where Masada, perhaps the most powerful man in CCW, outside of maybe brain damage, and imagine they're on the same team. So just think about that. And are you the, the, the very real fact that Masada is one of the toughest individuals in CCW? But as I said before, I, I feel every confidence that oh! if there was anyone to send up against him, Scotty Vortex is the man to do it. Oh, Scotty might look unassuming to the average viewer, but he's so tough, so powerful, and hopefully he doesn't break anything here. Oh! Spider-style dragon suplex there. Oh, and Vortex! Face. Vortex got right back to his feet and on the attack! Spider suplex, 10 on the way from Masada! And can Scotty Vortex take advantage of this? Here, live! On Hybrid EMT, CC up your fist fight! Wow, oh, wow. Excellent. Vortex is setting him up. Vortex. Scotty, this is probably a month long. I'm so excited about Vortex going high. Oh, God. Stop right on the 
man skull. As they say in wrestling frequently, I don't know where the push is located anatomically, but I'm assuming it's somewhere near the face. The face, the face, yeah, generally. The face has the face of Masada who made into push after that. Oh, what a hundred you just brought up. Well, as he tried to, did you notice as he tried to escape from that situation, he fell backwards and hit his head a second time on the chair. What happened? We leave this debris laying around the ring and, you know, the, the initial move that that may land on, on, on some sort of a weapon is not the only thing that is that is a danger. If the referees do not get these uh, this debris out of the ring, I can assure you that uh, uh, further damage is done down the line, believe me. Yeah, and Masada, of all people, is getting up, not up, he's gotten to his knees very slowly. Scotty Cortex not taking kindly to the upside down chair idea, looking to... Uh, uh, well, he hijacked the idea, but it didn't work out! Anyone do that to anyone? Oh. And that is it. Oh. Yeah.